soldiers from South Sudan's opposition celebrate their return to the capital, Juba. It's a historic moment for these men who haven't set foot in the town since the conflict first erupted. Their arrival brings hope that the peace process is finally taking hold. Uh, I know when I go out, there's, I go by force, but now I come by peace. There's no any problem. But despite the optimism, tensions are running high amid regular ceasefire violations and concerns that government and opposition forces might clash again. To avoid confrontations, the government army, the SPLA, pledged to move most of its troops outside the city, something the opposition says hasn't been done. You have come and see our forces. You know the number that arrived today. We have uh, already revealed to you. We show to you the forces. But for the, for the SPLA, tanks are still inside the, the barracks. Uh, everything is still intact. You can see even the detachment. The, the forces are, are deployed all over the, the city. The government, on the other hand, claims it has completed the withdrawal of forces to sites such as this one, located at least 25 kilometers outside of Juba. But this has yet to be verified by independent monitors. We have uh, a total of nine redeployment sites. This is just one of, of them, so we sent out an invitation to that monitoring mechanism, telling them that SPLA is ready for verification. Despite the cautious optimism surrounding Machar's return, many South Sudanese don't really trust that peace is really coming. Over 28,000 displaced persons, mostly from Machar's Nuer tribe, are still seeking safety inside this camp on the outskirts of Juba, guarded by United Nations peacekeepers. We are very happy to receive Rik Machar, and we are happy to see the opposition forces here, but we don't really know what will happen after he comes back, if there will really be peace. Machar's return is just the first step on a long road towards reforms, reconstruction and ultimately reconciliation of communities that have been torn apart by the conflict. Until that happens, Many inside this UN camp don't trust their country is safe enough to return home.